Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So I had the taste for some oodles and noodles. At least that's what I've called them since I was a child. But it's those top ramen noodles right here. So these are the ones that I had gotten from the Dollar Tree. If you remember, they were like five in a pack for a dollar. And I said that I was going to grab them for Kara so that she could eat something other than pizza. But I wasn't feeling good this day and I wanted some soup and I didn't want like Campbell's chicken noodle. So I grabbed that and I cannot eat oodles and noodles without peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> yes, I am fixing this PB&J for myself. It is not for Kara or Sydney. I just think that like that sweet, I don't know. I'm crazy y'all, but that's sweet with those noodles. Girl, I don't know. I'm crazy. And you see how meticulous I am with the spreading of the peanut butter and the jelly. Like, I have to hit all four corners. Like, I'm obsessed doing that. It's insane. I'm just pulling these noodles apart making sure they're not sticking or anything. Then I'm gonna drain that water off, but I'm not gonna completely drain them because I want some water in the bottom so that I can stir that seasoning pack in there. So you see me throwing that in there, and girl, this is my thing. I need to have butter, not margarine or no spray butter. It needs to be butter in my oodles and noodles. It's just so good. I don't know, girl. This is my twist. Y'all, so you see, I am totally appropriate with this bowl, this ramen bowl I have, but it was good. Hey guys, what's up? My every plate came. I forgot to cancel it again. Oh my goodness. Let me see what's in here because you know, if you forget, then they send you whatever the hell they want you to have. <laughs> so, cherry glazed pork meatballs. Okay, not too bad. Ready in 40, prep time is 10 minutes. I feel like we may have had this one, but that seems easy enough. Sweet chili chicken. We've never had this, so um, that's sounding really good. I can get down with that. Carrots, scallions, lime, chicken. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. Prep in five, ready in 30. Mm-hmm, perfect. Same here, prep in five, ready in 30. This is the Super Smash Burger. So, girl, this is just some burgers, some cheeseburgers. <laughs> Basically, I see they got the chipotle powder. They trying to jazz it up and stuff. Some buns and everything. But yeah, again, you know, super simple. But um, let me see what's in this box. This is different. They never seal it like this. With this paper thingy up here. So, alright. You know, guys, everything is in here. I'm going to flip this box over. so Because I'm standing on my darn toes because the box is so high. <laughs> okay, that's better, because girl, I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't see inside the box. So these are for those burgers, so I got four buns. And I told you guys, um, you know, I order the family of four, three meals under 60 bucks. So that's what's going on in here. Got some seasonings, that Chipotle powder um, that we're gonna need. Pickle some scallions. So I usually take like all the vegetables and ooh, it's falling out. All the vegetables and stuff and put it like in a Dollar Tree bin because I'm not putting cardboard in my refrigerator. It grosses me out. So I got some zucchini here. What's this? Some panko. Um, oh, this is mayo right here. This look like soy sauce. This is probably that chili sauce. Yeah, that sweet Thai chili sauce. Um, so yeah, you guys, like I said, um, everything is in here. You know, you try to make a meal sometimes and you go, who is eating all these carrots? Oh my gosh. What is 
four bundles of carrots. Hold on. This one meal. All right, that meal gets ca Oh, I was going to say. Okay. All right, now that makes sense. It's two bundles for each um, each meal. Two of the meals get carrots. So let me pull these out. They taking up the whole thing. I can't even see. So, you know, I was saying, you know, if you go to the, you know, the food store, the supermarket, um, you know, you making something. Oh, man, I forgot to tie chili sauce. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about that here. Uh, they got some chicken stock in here. You don't have to worry about forgetting anything because it's all here. I got onions in here, some potatoes. And what is this? White wine vinegar. I don't know which one this is for. Um, I don't know which. I don't know which recipe this is for. I was looking on the cards to see. I don't know, but girl, I got it because I wouldn't have thought to pick this up. You know what I'm saying? So I grabbed that. What's this? The cherry preserves. Is this for the sweet chili? I'm not sure, but you see what I'm saying? Like, who is remembering to pick this up? I'm not. Girl, I'm not going to remember that. Oh, there's two of them in here. The white wine vinegar. All right, cool. So we got some more potatoes in here. What's this? Some jasmine rice going on. Look, garlic. So I'm going to need that garlic. Um, what do you call it? That Ray Dunn garlic, I'm going to need that. <laughs> I don't have it. Um, so, yeah, they got me going on with the garlic. Oh, here's another onion and then some lime right here. So, y'all, we good to go. Every single thing I need, I'm going to pull these potatoes out and pull this carton out because that's going in the recycle. I can't. I don't know. The, the, um, I don't know. It feels like, to me, it makes me feel like it's going to draw some kind of bugs or something. I don't know. I just don't want it in my refrigerator. So <laughs> it's coming the hell out. So I'm going to throw all this to the side and get to this meat that's underneath here. Got that soy and that Thai chili sauce. Oh, I just dropped the potato on the floor. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. All right. Hold on. Oh, okay. I just pulled that box out and this was, so you know it comes with the blocks of ice. Um, they can be recycled. Use them in your coolers or whatever the case. So I probably got two ground ports. Here's the ground beef. I probably have two of those and then the chicken. So let me make sure. Right. It's, it should be two of each. And it is, so I got two ground porks, two ground boneless, um, two ground boneless, <laughs> two ground pork, two boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and two ground beef. And so that's it, you guys. I'm good to go. Everything is here. So I done moved everything over here. It's a whole mess, but I'm going to put it in um, my Dollar Tree container and throw it in the fridge. And that is it, you guys. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna make one of these meals. I'm gonna do this sweet chili chicken right here. It seems simple enough, five minute prep, ready in 30. So I pulled out all the ingredients out the fridge. I got the carrots here, the scallions. Here's the garlic. What else? Here's the lime, I only need one. Um, the jasmine rice, I had that in my hand. Oh, it's on the other side. I got the soy sauce right here, and then here's that sweet Thai chili sauce, and then here's my chicken breast over here, my boneless chicken breast. And here's that jasmine rice, three quarter cup. So, y'all, I have never had jasmine rice before. <laughs> but, um, all right, let's get started. We're gonna get into this. So you guys, you see me looking at this card, making sure I'm following the directions properly. So I'm just taking these scallions. I had rinsed the scallions and the carrots already and they were just in the bag. So part of the recipe calls for me to make the rice 
in the pan on the stove. But y'all, I didn't want to do that. So I grabbed my rice cooker. So you see me throw that jasmine rice in there. Um, I think it was three quarter cups in that pack. So I'm just rinsing it off, rinsing all that starch off of there. I think I did it twice. It was a little bit of rice, so I didn't have to do it more than that. So yeah, just shaking it up and you see me cutting up the garlic and the scallions over there. I separated the white and the green. So let me take this off and get started. I'm throwing a little EVOO in there with a pat of butter, getting that all nice and hot. Spraying my air fryer over there, getting that ready for the chicken. So I'm back over here with the rice. So three quarter cup, I think I put a cup and a quarter of water in there, threw some kosher salt in there, giving that a stir, pop that in, throw the top on, and click that button, and we're good to go. Oh my goodness. So you see all of that steam, right? Girl, I heated it up on it was too high i had to rinse it out wash it start all over it took 30 seconds though it was really quick so i threw some more evo in another pat of butter now this should be okay so that's better i threw that garlic in and those the whites of the scallion giving that a stir until it's fragrant and then I'm going to just pull that off of the stove and throw it right in the rice. But I'm not, I'm kind of draining it. If you see that I'm kind of draining that oil off of it, then throwing it in the rice and stirring it up. So that's what they wanted me to do. They wanted me to make the whole thing in the pan on the stove. Girl, mm -mm, I don't have time for that standing over making sure it don't stick and all of that i can't so i'm back over here with these carrots so these carrots had holes in the bag so i was able to wash them and let them drain but now i'm cutting the bags open so i'm just grabbing that kind of you know like trash bag um you know the bags you use for when you go food shopping so we have a ton of those so i'll just you know i just grab them and Use them for trash during dinner. So I'm getting to the end of kind of taking all the skin off of these. I'm putting that trash in there. And I'm just going to kind of line them up and take the ends off of each carrot. Toss that, and once I do that, I'm going to cut them kind of on a slant and get them ready for that sheet pan. Oh my goodness, I was cutting forever, it felt like. It really wasn't, but, and you see me throw one away because that thing was so darn skinny. I was like, I'm not using this. <laughs> All right, so I lined that sheet pan with parchment paper. I'm throwing the carrots on there. So according to the directions, and you'll see me kind of peek over um, to look at them. So it told me to zest a lemon, I mean a lime. And I did that, but y'all, I never used the zest. So I'm wondering when I was supposed to incorporate that in the menu, in the, um, you know, preparation. I don't know, girl. So I'm just lining them all up, kind of spreading them out evenly. You see me peeking over at the directions, making sure I'm following them. 
So you see me just sprinkle a little bit of that EVOO on there over all the carrots, some salt, some pepper, and then I throw them in the oven. I think they're in the oven at 425. I think I left them in there for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. So I grab my chicken cutting board, the yellow one. You saw the little chicken on the, the bottom corner. <laughs> So yeah, you guys, I'm just cutting open those chicken bags. Um, there were two chicken, boneless chicken breasts in each one. So I just rinsed them off and I was patting them dry and putting them on the cutting board. So I pulled out all my seasonings. I started with a little adobo. I went to the paprika. And then I did a little garlic powder. So you guys, you, you will probably see me use these three seasonings all the time. I don't know why, I just do. And then I sprinkled it with a little salt and pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip these over and season the other side. And you guys know I do it backwards. <laughs> So I will start with the salt and pepper and then it should be the garlic powder. And you saw me pick up the adobo and put it back. <laughs> the garlic powder, the paprika, and I will end with the adobo. So I pop them in the air fryer. I just hit the chicken button and the chicken button is 380 for 25 minutes. So now I'm pointing to that glaze. So it's time to, um, I'm like, wait a minute. Now let me, let me read this right. <laughs> so I grabbed my bowl because it said for me to melt two pats of butter, or I think it was two tablespoons, but you know, that's like two pats of butter. I'm checking again, girl. <laughs> so I don't think I made this one. I think I said before I thought I might have, but I don't think I did because I would have remembered. I wouldn't have been looking at the menu so hard, the um, instructions so hard. So it wasn't quite melted. So I put it in there, I think for another 30 seconds. Then I poured that suey sauce in there. So at first I was only going to do like half. So, but then I changed my mind and ended up just making it according to the directions. There's that chili sauce, that sweet Thai chili. And then I'm squeezing. Girl, I could not get the juice out of here. I was like squeeze. I was squeezing for dear life. Oh my goodness. So I'm just giving that a really, really good stir. That's that butter in there. That soy sauce. Mmm, mmm, look at that. Oh my goodness. So I was like, girl, just throw that other soy sauce in there and act like you know. Actually, both, because I was only trying to do, I don't know what I was trying to do, but I was like, just do it right. So I just, look at me, squeezing that lime in there. Oh my goodness. So I actually made it for four servings, which is what, which is all the ingredients that I got for it, four servings. Mm, that was tasting good, too. So I'm checking that rice. I do believe it's done. I'm giving it a stir. Oh, you see that? Mm. So I, I saw a couple of like the big owl. Is that what you call it? Like that crusty part at the bottom? I don't like that. I know some people do. So I was picking like some of it off. That's what I was doing. But it was smelling so good with that garlic and scallion mixture in there. So now I'm cutting this lime because 
the recipe says to cut the lime in some pieces. So I think it's going to end up being garnish, but I'm not sure. I'm just doing what it's telling me to do. Ooh, them carrots. Mmm, look at that. You saw that steam coming out of that oven? So let me grab these chicken breasts out of this air fryer, girl. Mmm. So I put them right on this uh, cutting board. I did wash my cutting board, um, dried it, and then, you know, I'm just using it again so that I can slice the meat. So you see me trying to figure out exactly how or what I'm going to use to slice it. I didn't even let it sit. Um, oh, yes, I did. I let it sit um, about five minutes. So I started cutting it the one way and that was not working out. So I turned it around and started slicing it lengthwise. But girl, it's hot as hell. You see all that steam coming out? I'm burning my fingers. <laughs> But I was trying, I, I was so hungry at this point. I was like, I don't even care. But you see me, I'm burning the hell out of my fingers. I'm like, girl, get a wet paper towel and just put your fingers on there. <laughs> I'm crazy as hell. Oh my goodness. I was, I'm greedy. I was starving, y'all. Look at me. Oh my goodness. I don't make no sense. I'm cutting this meat though. I'm cutting this meat. All right, you guys. So it is time to plate. I threw some rice on there. I got some of those carrots on the side there. Grabbed a few pieces of that chicken. Girl, and I threw that glaze on there. Oh my goodness. It was so, so good. So I'm over there grabbing some of the green part of the scallion for garnish and some of those lemon wedges that I cut up and boom, there you go. This is good. I'ma go, follow me on my Instagram below and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.